This is one of the good bugs that we use is a ladybird beetle, ladybug. Anybody from Michigan shudders when I bring these out because they're a real problem there sometimes. Yours are bigger and meaner though. But these guys love to eat aphids. Aphids are a problem insect that come into my alfalfa in the spring when it's just emerging and young. These ladybugs naturally occur here. They, they're here every year. But one of my jobs as a farm supervisor is to go out in the fields and also always know what's going on. When I see the numbers of aphids starting to increase, I can buy these from an insectary, spread them on my fields, and I create a, a natural population boom in the good bugs, which causes a decline in the population of the bad ones. It, it keeps it under control. You never eradicate the bad ones. Mm -hmm. We don't want to because we, uh, we need some food for the good ones. We just want to keep it balanced out so it's not an issue, not a problem with it. Now, I, like I said, I buy these from an insectary right outside of Los Angeles. That bag right there is probably 20, 25,000 ladybugs is maybe 25 or 30 bucks. And that's enough to treat this. So all this 30 acres, 35 acres that we're standing in here once. And I may do that once, twice, three times in the spring. And that's it for the year. So it's a, a pretty easy, simple one. That's not the only one. There are many, many different kinds. There's parasitic wasps, there's green lace wings, there's all sorts of good beneficials that we could get for a different application. Now I buy them from a insectary. There's a very strict application method. You have to have a John Deere tractor. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, we just drive through the fields with a bag like that and spread them out. I mean, you can see they're already, they're heading out, they're hungry. They've been stored in this bag. There's, there's a little bit of sugar water that was sprayed onto this just to keep them alive. And we put them in the fridge in between tour visits and we keep them in there for about a week or so and then we'll let them loose. But they're, they're hungry. They're ready to go find something to eat. Well, like I say, they're, they're naturally here. They're always I'm just building up and making that population stronger to, to keep something in control.